Okay, this is going to be part eight of my series on doing investment casting, and uh, that's the burnout of it. I got the fan going here. I'm going to shut it off for a second so it's not so noisy. But you see all the smoke there. Now that's the the wax burning out, evidently. You know, it's vaporizing it and burning it off. And uh, uh, the one thing is that uh, I was going to let this run at night. I was going to put some kind of a timer on, let it run overnight, so when I got here in the morning, it was ready to go. But I don't think that's going to be to work. I don't think that's going to work here because uh, we have smoke alarms and so on. And I guess what I'm going to have to do when I do the casting is get here like I did this morning, about eight o'clock. And the casting will be ready at 6 o'clock. Now, I don't know what that's going to do in the wintertime. It'll probably be a little messier in the wintertime. I, I got lights out here and stuff. I just basically got to put the furnace out here, and I can cast inside here. It's okay. But um, it's right now, it's about quarter after 2, and we're up to, uh, let's see, it just dropped down for some reason. I don't know why. 985 degrees right now, and it's supposed to be 11, 11.54, so why is that? All right, well, anyway, um, it's raising up slowly to 1,300, and then it's going to stay there for about three hours. Then after three hours, it's going to drop down to 900 and hover, going to hover there. Then we're going to get out the good old uh, furnace, which is right here. Bring this out. There's the furnace, and uh, we'll use that. I got my tongs, got the propane, I got my other stuff here, got my safety equipment over there, got a bucket of water way over there, got the fire extinguisher in case I need it, got the vacuum chamber here, got everything ready to go. I just got to go get the vacuum pump, which is in the other room. That was dual service on that, used for doing the investment, as you saw in, in the video 7B. But anyway, uh, I got a water hose way out there, and I got my pressure washer over there that I'm going to use to take all the investment off the casting. So I'm all ready to go, and uh, hopefully everything will come out okay. We've got to wait and see. Uh, we'll find out. Okay, we've been making castings. We're melting metal right now. Getting molten down there, looks good. We got three, three done, three flash done. Give me a good one. Nah. <laughs> and uh, here's one right here. Gotta be cleaned up yet. And after we're all done, I'll take the pressure washer out here in the alley and uh, blast it up, clean everything up. Then we take it to the sand blaster. It's exciting. It's working. Making castings. Okay, first thing we gotta do is skim off the slag. Dan shuts it off. We need a helper. And we go in here and we just Clean up all the junk. A little bit of junk. A little bit of junk. There's some crap there. Not too much. Alright. A little bit more. Okay. I want to check it with the pyrometer. The last one we cast at 2200. It worked pretty good. I gotta be careful when I push the button that I don't change it to centigrade. I did that before. Now we're gonna drop it in. Twenty-one twenty two thousand ninety-seven. Good. Alright, now what we do now is we fire it up a little bit more. Just a couple of minutes more. While we're doing that, we take out the mold out of the oven. They ain't got the pliers. Are they all dried off? Yeah. Okay. Grab this one here. Uh, 
Alright. I close it up. Gotta turn it around and grab it on the top, put it in the vacuum chamber, put on the vacuum, kick on the vacuum. Okay, vacuum's going up, and we're good to go. Okay, Dan opens her up. He gets ready with that. I go in and take it out. Put it down. You probably can't see it behind the crucible furnace, but it's there. Then I take it and I pour it. There we go. Try to hit the hole. That's it. Put that piece of metal in. Put a piece of metal in. Better put both of them in. Okay. You gotta hold this stand. You gotta get a stand for that. We'll get it. Little by little, we'll get different things. Now we put it back in. Crank it up again. Last melt. We got one more in there. Okay. Dan, got the routine. Got the routine. Okay, just turn it on. Good to go. Now I gotta wait for that to turn gray color. So I keep the I keep the vacuum on as long as I can. Keep the gray on. So it turns gray, and then we dump it in the water over there. I don't want to show you that because I don't want to bring the water up. But you know, we dump it in the water and then it blasts it out of there. And then the, the crucibles come out like this. Just hollowed out. What I got to do is I got to blast this out with the power washer. Oh, we got it. Coming. All right, that's pretty much solidified now. You can shut the vacuum off. We still wait uh, probably about seven, eight minutes. Dunk it in the water, and what happens is the, the water hitting the hot blows it out of here. But that water is getting kind of warm now. So we only got one more to do after this. Now the last one, we're going to have metal left over, we got to pour it in the ingot mold, so what we need to do is get that up on a furnace and kind of heat it up a little bit. Alright. You got time. Yeah. You heat it up on, on the second part when we after we check it. Okay, now Dan's going to take that and he's going to dunk it right in the water. He's going to get it so he grabs it in the middle. That's it. And he's going to dunk that right in the water. Now that cold water, colder water hits that metal and blows that right out of there and it comes right out, no problem. Vacuum chamber works awesome. Really worked good. See what's going on on our melt here. Uh, okay, a couple of more minutes. About five, eight minutes more. Okay, it's a little dirty and all. I still got to clean it off yet, but. Looks like they're all pretty good. I can't see any bad ones just off the top of my head. But as you can see, they're furrow nuts. Perfect. Now the last thing we're going to do is bodies. I just wanted to show you this in comparison. You see here on the bottom there, they're like short shots. And then on the on, over here, they're all done because this was at the bottom of the mold where the hotter metal went. As the metal went in there, it cooled off. It wasn't hot enough the first couple of pours. So now we got the heat right.
be the last cast. Valve bodies. This one could be a little cooler because the bodies are bigger. You know, thicker, heavier casting. So now, the little thing you can do is, now you had to write the first time, it's got to be perfectly flat across. That's all right. That, that works, either way. No, not the handle, the other part. The part on the middle of the valve. That right, that's it, that's it. Are oh, you want to test it or what do you want to do? I gotta skim off the junk. Ain't that much junk on it. Turn it off. And on this pour, the very end of it, we're going to pour the remainder of the metal into the ingot mold because we're done casting for today. That's good. Check it with the parometer. Make sure it's on Fahrenheit. Put it in. Ah, good. 2,090. And now we just turn it back on for a minute or two. Keep it warm while we put the mold in. Teamwork here. Ready? Last mold. I gotta make a stand for this to hold it. Here we go. Another pour. Not much in it. You can get it with the tongs. You want to try it? Let's put it right back in. Just grab it. The top things on the, at the top. Okay, that's it. You don't have to squeeze it real tight. Be careful it coming out. Open it up gently. Open it up. Open it up more. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. That's it. Close it up. Let it cool down. Shut the gas off. Gas bottle's right there. Okay. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the series. Um, I enjoyed making it. I'll tell you, this has been a big step for me. And uh, we're going to make a lot of different things with this. Uh, I'm going to get better and better at it. And, and uh, just, just a, an awesome experience. Thanks to David Flowers, big help, big help to me. And uh, I guess that's it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next video.